This hepatocellular carcinoma. There is a sudden 58 year old man came with a sudden right upper quadrant pain. I live in a poor remote village. My grandfather is sitting. One hand is weak, but it is not a problem. People come, they pay 10 rupees and get, we give Gomutra, we give everything. People are getting benefited. Once you prove the result, wherever you are, people will come. So, sudden onset of right upper quadrant pain, nausea, poor appetite, yellow discoloration, urine and conjunctiva. It was a clinical feature of jaundice, so LFT was advised. Then we took ultrasound abdomen pelvis, it is found to be obstructive jaundice. No history of relevant illness, diet mixed, habit smoking and alcohol, ictress present, no pallor, no cyanosis, no lymphadenopathy, BP 140-90, weight is 60 kilos. There is tenderness in the right upper quadrant, mite, hepatomegaly, S1, S2 normal, no cardiac complaint. Total bilirubinase is 8.3, direct 5.4, bile pigments were present. You see that the patient was advised to take an USG to rule out obstructive jaundice. Kamala is a very important, there is Koshtakada Kamala comes under hepatocellular jaundice. Shagagada Kamala comes under obstructive jaundice. Paradandra Kamala comes under hemolytic jaundice in an Ayurveda. So if an Ayurvedic doctor studies allopathy better way, he will be able to see Trudosha in Harrison also. So there is cholecystitis, free stone. But a mass of 10 cm into 9 cm is seen in the right lobe of the liver. So we suspected hepatocellular CR metastasis. Then we took alpha phytoprotein, then advised for a biopsy. So there are a lot of allopathic doctors, neurologists, cardiologists are working and supporting me. Some of the doctors told allopathic doctors are not referring. No, once you prove well and if you are ethical and if you are not answer session, why I have selected the drugs, I will be able to tell. Serum bilirubin level, anything, everything cannot be talking in modern times. Evidence based means an Ayurveda not become allopathy. Then everything when we talk in your terms, this system is not needed. So allopathy can be supportive to Ayurveda. Ayurveda should support allopathy. Allopathy should support Ayurveda. But Ayurveda should not should, should lose its heritage. That is Panjabuda Tattvam and Tridosha Tattvam. So the, that is why Panjabhuda Siva Kshetram is there, Mooladharam is there, Mooladhara Kshetra Stidam, we are calling Ganabadi. Ganabadi is an example of metabolic syndrome X. Do you want anybody having central adiposity like Ganabadi? Ganabadi's waist lungs, waist circumference is very big. He would be having, having insulin resistance, hypertriglyceridemia, metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetic. But what does the sloga say? Kabitta Jambu Palasara Bakshidam. He is given Kabittam and Jambu. What is the English name of Kabitta? We do not know. Jambu Jamun. The glycemic index is 18 and 19. Low glycemic index are given, food are given as Naivedya. He is not given with, feeded with bananas. So we see, so this serum bilirubin level 8 to 4. The patient was advised to undergo the following investment. Uh, CT scan confirmed the presence of neoplastic growth in the right lobe of the liver. So whole body scanning was done. Aspiration cytology was done. You see this, blood results. SGPT was high, OT by alkaline phosphatase in obstructive pathology. Alkaline phosphatase increases. That is an indication of srodha rodha in Ayurveda. So the Yakrit. Prakriti I did not assess. Nowadays, even in ectomorph, endomorph, mesomorph can be talked as vada bitta kapha. Ectomorph, it has got a ectoderm, it has got a quality. Mesoderm, it has got a quality. Endoderm, it has got a quality. So once you read Harrison also, you read the Tridoshas. Once you read the Tridoshas, you see Harrison in that. Only expression is different. See the snigdam and ushna snigdam. Thila means ushna snigdam. It is unsaturated fat. Once you keep it outside, it cannot solidify. Yada pinde, tada pirmande, thirumular set. Andatil irupu the pindam, pindatil irupu the andam, andamum pindamum wondri. You are the essence of microcosm. So, what you choose should not, man, this Ayurveda consider woman, estrogen as Shakti, and men as estrogen. You go to the Hindu temple, the Hindu temple they have painted red and white. They have not painted violet. Why they have not painted? You should have a reason. Arthavam is red in color and Shukram is white in color. Shiva Shakta Yukta, to unite that Saumya Agneyam Jagat only, they have selected these two colors. Otherwise, they would have selected any other color. They didn't do that. Prakriti, I didn't assess. Mudichara, madam. Next. You want to present, you want to show, but you don't give time. Next. Next one. So, Yakrit is the Sita and Budagni. That is malignant tufer. That is called hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC. That was the diagnosis. Try and the Adi Kashayam, Kaisor Gugulu. Unfortunately, to tell the truth, the patient is an allopathic MS surgeon. 
uh, after Virajanam is done with the Thiruvurtu Churna, Bilurubin came down, you see the ultrasound, the Kaudadatruvala, the Yogam, Gudavipili was given, then after that liver function became normal, now uh, the, when the latest scan was taken, this patient is advised, the patient is two ga top endocrine, uh, gastroenterologist from Amruda Institute, I am giving the medicine, I do not know modern medicine much, so I told the gastroenterologist from Amruda to assess it. I give the medicine, I do Ayurvedic work. Modern medicine, whatever the parameters you want, you assess, so they have given the report. I do not say I have one medicine is effective, the next case will be a failure. That is a problem in research. Then if you ask me, do you have a definite answer for hepatocellular, I don't know. Next case will be a failure, the next case will be a success. Why? Because the Prakriti Bedam is so much in Ayurveda. The Prakriti Bedam is so much, so you have to consider all those things. So it, here I have presented two cases, I have treated well, but even I have failure, I have made mistakes, I will continue to make mistakes, I will continue to correct, and I will continue to learn. Every morning, one hour I read Ashtangradayam, every night I read Harrison. I want Ayurvedic doctors to do that.